When I started to learn programming back in the early 80s, I didn't have much choice of programming languages. Essentially, it came down to three possibilities, BASIC, C or Pascal. Now, a free version of BASIC called GW BASIC came pre-installed on my PC and I tried learning it and it was horrible. I then considered getting a C compiler, but at that time they were far too expensive. Then I saw a compiler called Turbo Pascal, which in Britain cost about £35 and probably about the same in dollars in America. And that's what I decided to learn. Now, Pascal was a great choice of language because it enforces some degree of code structuring, which for a new programmer helps you to build in good programming practices. C, on the other hand, lets you get away with all kinds of stuff that Pascal would never allow. Nowadays, you have a huge choice of programming languages, and many of them are free. So if you're a new programmer, where should you start? C, C Sharp, Java, Python, Ruby? Now, let's say first of all, which you shouldn't start with. Don't start with C. Now, don't get me wrong, C is an important language. It's a very powerful language, and at some stage, you should learn it, but not right away. If you start with C, your programs are likely to crash a lot. And also, you may pick up some bad programming habits that will be hard to get rid of later on. And don't start with C++ either. For a beginner, C++ has all the disadvantages of C, and it's also more complicated. No, definitely don't start with C++. Python and Ruby are now favourite languages for novice programmers. They are certainly much easier to use than C, but again, they do let you get away with stuff. And so, unless you've got a good teacher to advise you, you could pick up some bad programming habits. Java and C Sharp are in many respects quite similar languages. They have a syntax which is a bit like C, but they also have an object orientation which C doesn't. What's more, Java and C Sharp compilers will spot mistakes that C would let you get away with. Your Java and C Sharp programs are not as likely to crash as C programs, so both of them would be pretty good learning languages. Now, Java has the benefit of being fully cross platform you can program it on just about any operating system. C Sharp is also cross-platform, but it's really most at home on Windows. So if you're a Windows programmer, learning C Sharp in a free copy of Microsoft Visual Studio would be one of my top recommendations. Now, there are all sorts of fairly new languages coming along, Swift, Kotlin, Go, and so on. And in future, maybe one of those would be a good choice. For now though, I'd leave those languages to people who already have some programming experience. For a first language, it would be best to stick to something that's tried, trusted, and fairly long established. So what about Pascal? That's the language I started with back in the 80s. Now, I'd love to be able to recommend one of the successors of Pascal, such as the Modular 2 or Oberon languages. In my view, they would be just about perfect for the beginner programmer because the languages are rigorous in encouraging and enforcing good programming practice. But sadly, neither Modular 2 nor Oberon is what you'd call a mainstream language these days. There is, however, one very good modern implementation of Pascal, and that's Delphi. This has its own IDE with drag and drop form design, and it incorporates object orientation. There's even a free cross-platform object-oriented Pascal called Free Pascal, with a visual development environment called Lazarus. So, in summary, what are my top choices? I love Delphi, but Delphi and Object Pascal are by no means as widely used commercially as C-sharp and Java. On Windows, therefore, while I would encourage you to try Delphi, if you want a more widely used language, then you can go for C-sharp. Java would also be a perfectly good first language, though if you're using Windows, I think really that C-sharp with Visual Studio would be a better choice. But whichever you choose, don't get too hooked on just one programming language. A modern programmer needs to be flexible. In the world of professional programming, the last thing a, a potential employer wants to hear is that you think that everything should be done in whatever happens to be your favourite language. So, start by learning one language thoroughly, and then move on to some of the others. Get free source code, hints and tips from bitwisebooks.com or sign up for a course at bitwisecourses.com.